hey guys this is candy and welcome back to my channel and today's video i will be showing you guys how i do this quick diy project to show you how i re to utilize these candle jars as storage containers and the first thing i'm doing is i'm just wiping them down because they have been sitting there for a while you know not being used and so they have gathered dust and just shining up the the lid a little bit so that they look you know nice and new somewhat and I'm just using a dry paper towel to do that all right so all right so now we're gonna be starting with this one and look how beautiful this container looks you guys bath and body works shout out to you you have some of the absolutely most beautiful jars ever and this is their peach bellini and yes and this one uh, not so much but it's you you know reusable nevertheless not my favorite in terms of appeal and you know the whole overall look of it but it can work all right so so this is how much um candle wax is remaining i pretty much burnt it down to the very um bottom of the the jar and i'm just using a dinner knife to just release the wax from the bottom of the container and for some reason it was super easy to do this one the wax was on the softer side sometimes it's not the case sometimes it's super hard and i have to put up a literal fight to remove it but in this case it thankfully is easy to remove And so once most of the or all of the the wax has been released from the bottom then I just go ahead and remove it and here you can see me trying to fish out the wax holder the wick holder rather not the wax holder the wick holder which is those silver metal yeah this thing mm-hmm so I just remove those and then I'm good to go with removing the wax from the, the, the jar. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead now and I'm going to start with the initial cleaning of the jar. And I'm going to be using a dry paper towel just to go ahead, get in there and to remove most of the remaining wax that's in the jar and for the purpose of using these candle um, holders as storage containers you have to ensure that it is properly cleaned and especially for the purposes that I am using mine for I have to definitely ensure that it is properly um, cleaned so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Clorox wipes and this is going to provide a you know a further more disinfecting cleaning you know anything remaining including some of the fragrance and um, any remaining wax that might be in the jar I'm hoping that that will you know further be removed by using the wipes all right and so now the final cleaning phase is the washing phase I'm using some hand soap and yeah this will definitely do the trick in addition to the initial wiping that I did before now I'm actually washing it and so this will get rid of most of the fragrance and definitely any remaining residual candle wax
right so we are all done with the washing process the cleaning process and yeah this label that i'm seeing at the bottom of the jar is bothering me so i'm gonna go ahead um yeah it, it's a no-no it, it's actually messing with the overall look and the beauty of the jar so using the same dinner knife i'm just gonna go ahead and remove that yes and then i'm using the same um clorox wipe just to finish off by removing all of the stickiness from the bottom and yes this is my first jar this is set and ready to be used as my storage container mm -hmm. all right so i went ahead and did the second one so they're both prepped and ready to be filled All right, so let's start with my favorite one, of course. Yes. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that baby up. And of course you can fill yours with whatever you so choose. All right, so for this one, I'm using it to hold my cotton balls. And usually I would keep my cotton balls in the actual plastic bag that they come in, but it's, it's not a good look. It's not cute. It's not easily accessible, you know, so putting them in this container makes it easier. But as a bonus, it's very aesthetically, very appealing to the eyes just to have this sitting in my bathroom or you could also put it on your vanity wherever you want to store it that's up to you all right so that's done all right and for the other one i am um, pretty much gonna be filling that one with also cottons but these are my cotton rounds typically I use these in my skincare routine a lot so of course this one is going to be sitting in my bathroom so I'm just stacking those and it actually surprisingly holds a lot yeah again the same thing easy access and you know in a nice cute container and as a bonus you guys i found another jar that i cleaned up and i'm going to be using and this is my very favorite fragrance you guys my holiday fragrance the twisted peppermint oh, and yes i'm going to be filling these with actual mint balls yes peppermint balls and i think it would be so cute to just you know sit there and just you know display your mints in your peppermint jar how cool yeah awesome cute and like I said, you guys, you can use it for whatever. If you get the, the jar very clean, you can actually put your um, tea bags in them. You can put Q-tips in them. You can put hair pins, hair ties, whatever you want to store in your storage containers. It's up to you. But these are, you know, what I'm storing as of today. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching so much. And remember to stay um, with natural hair dynamics remember to like remember to share remember to subscribe and to hit that notification bell so that you can know whenever i post i typically post on wednesdays and on saturdays so remember to stay um with natural hair dynamics and become a part of the gang all right until next time talk walk and stay blessed